Your city, your sound, Newport City Radio. Yesterday, the Advertising Standards <laughs> Agency announced that it will no longer allow TV ads that promote certain jobs being the stereotype for certain sexes. For example, cleaning product ads won't promote uh, that it's a woman's job to clean the house, nor will mechanical ads make it look as though men are the only people who can change a tyre. Uh, does this decision make sense to you, L, or is it political correctness gone mad? Stupid. Okay. Next topic. <laughs> no, um... It, Stupid fear. I'm, I'm honestly trying to not use words that I can't use on radio. Why um, do you think they've done this? Because they're idiots. Okay. <laughs> just there's no other there's no other thing to it. Just they're idiots, and it's just all it is is virtual signalling. That's all this is. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> do you think people actually get offended by adverts? The stereotype. I don't care if people get offended. If you get, <laughs> if you get offended over this, you need more things to do. You're in your so life. harsh. No, you do. <laughs> God, just get over yourself. You know, it's 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 obviously stereotypes exist for a reason. You know, the fact that this is just it, it, it's so stupid. Like, okay, let me just point this out. Okay. Um, Silip Bang. Who's the guy on that? Barry Scott. Barry Scott, exactly. That, that's a man. Oh, d- d- but women do those kind of adverts, though, don't they? Hang point, on a yeah. second. AA, RAC. Who, who, who's, who's the mechanic nowadays? It's always a woman there. They're already doing this. All they're now is just impugning yeah. that uh, basically women have to do these adverts now and men have to do these adverts. Just swapping it around and going, well, basically. Uh, Anything masculine is toxic, but anything submissive for women is now uh, oppressive. And it's, it's it, yeah. it, honestly, it, it's just, this is a downward spiral. What we're going to get to, and I genuinely believe this, with this type of attitude, we're going to get to the point where people are going to say, well, you're sexist, and society's going to turn around and go, oh, okay, fine then, yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. racist. Well, fine, yeah, I'm racist. So yeah. um, I think that's, it's going to get down to that at some point because all this political correctness is just getting ridiculous. Do you think we're now regressive instead of progressive? We've U-turned. We've, we've been regressive for quite a few years now. Well, we say we're progressing. Uh, things seem to be going backwards. Oh, yeah, that's why you call opinion. it the regressive left, not the progressive left. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Do you see us re- <clears throat> regressing? If that's No, two. I mean, we're fine. The 90s were perfect. Okay. No, I'm being serious. The '90s were perfect. Let's just go back to I the believe '90s. You, yeah, yeah. The 90, you know, everyone had a job. Everyone was liberal. Uh, there were a few people who were, you know, funny about what if and you know some other things, but nobody cared. Nobody took them seriously. And now it's just, you know, we have all these people from the '90s who have grown up, told the millennials, "Well, this is what the world's like," and it's like. It's not. It's completely different. I mean, you know, socialism, you know, that's a thing of, you know, that would have appealed maybe uh, before the 90s. And these are ideas that, you know, uh, for no reason at all, appeal to the 90s generation. And for, for me, I think millennials are kind of in this weird kind of 50-50 split. But it's very worrying that students and people who are not in the world yet get told that when they get into the world, they will be victims just for who they are. Yeah, no, that's not true. It, it is, and you know, I, th- I think it's like this weird thing of, uh, you know, because obviously it's not only just um, you know politicians who lie to you; it's also your school professors and even your <laughs> parents. A lot of parents have lied to their children about, oh, well, actually, the world's like this. This time, mm. it, you know, and it, it has warped a world view. I mean, this is why we, you know, we have so many people reading Karl Marx and thinking he's a saint. You know, it, <laughs> it, it's, it's stupid. Yeah. It's absolutely stupid. I think uh, the world honestly, is not as scary as people make it out. Oh, no, it is. It's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I, I don't think, think so. I think that's the reality you have to face because when, it's, when you realise that, it's like, well, actually, no, that's not so scary. <laughs> the world is full of people like you and I. Yeah, we're we all people. We're all in the same we boat. Don't care. Like, you know, it's, it's like... Um, it's like now we have like so many. I don't know. I could get into this, but right now, I really, just I'm lo- I, I th- <laughs> stick to the advert thing. I, he- I heard about. I heard about the ESA. I woke up and I was like, Alexa, news, and she was like, you know, uh, like, oh well, here's the news today. It's like the ESA have now done with this whole gender thing, and I just thought, you know what? I'm going back to bed. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sleeping today. I'm just, just. I'm not even going to try today. Just throw your pillow at Alexa. I'm just like Alexa. Just stop. <laughs> Oh, God. Other assistants are available. Um, I don't. I don't want to listen to any of them. Alexa, uh, you know, she she told me. You know, she's very blunt. She told me what was happening. I found out what was happening, and I just said, you "Here's know the what? deal, I re- bro. I reject this reality." <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, fake news. Alexa, please st- just give me anything but this. It goes back to that saying, doesn't it? Uh, if it's not fixed, don't break it. No one was offended, as far as I know, by these adverts. Oh, They're no, fixing an, something an, that's not a problem. It's just a noisy minority, and you know. And here's the thing, though. Missouri is a uh, the, the the Mizzou uh, University of Mizzou perfect example you know needs some muscle over here you know that that woman um, all right you know and not familiar 
Uh, basically, there were, there were a bunch of protesters pushing people out of a public area, public university. Um, just, just basically, you know, they're pro Black Lives Matter, pro feminist, pro uh, okay. this progressive gotcha. nonsense. Um, and yeah, uh, they actually had uh, the highest turnout of blacks uh, go to that university the previous year. Now they're having a third. A third of the black population, which is around about a sixth of what they had, is now applying for Mizzou University. Right. And now it's also that loads of university students have, uh, I think it's like they have a third, or whatever it is, I think it's like even lower than that, um, of applicants than what they had the previous year. Because they're like, well, actually, uh, these, these aren't my views. Uh, I don't want to be seen as racist just for being white. Um, you know, they just don't want to apply for it. They're going to different universities. Um and, you know, th- this is a university that has a race newspaper. I'm sorry, what? who is obsessed with that, apart from the KKK and Black Lives Matter? It's, it's just people who are obsessed with race oh. would sign up for a, a race, uh, you know, newspaper. Who who signs it? Who wakes up one day, sees, you know, a race newspaper and goes, oh, actually, I, I, that's what I've been missing in my life. I need a catalogue about race. <laughs> you know, who thinks of these things? Nobody does, apart from racists, you know? it's and It, it, it bothers me that that is an attitude, and I, I think we actually are starting to see, as we've rejected, you know, far right sentiments like the bnp for example you know we're going to uh we're going to reject this we're going to reject we're, going to, we're seeing it for what it is and now we're going to start rejecting it your city your sounds newport city radio